Hello, my name is Andrew Becker, and I'm a consultant with Red Hat. I'm joined today by John Herlocker, also a consultant with Red Hat. Welcome to our whiteboarding session. Uh, today we'll be talking about Red Hat JBoss BRMS, our business rules management system. Now, John, imagine that I work as an analyst in an insurance company. I've done some research, which leads me to need to update the online quote estimation tool that the company that I work for provides. Before we have a rules management system in place, how would I get that change to the tool uh, into our application? Right, so typically when a company has um, business rules with their application, they're very tightly coupled and they're written in the same uh, language such as Java. So for instance, up here we have um, rep representation of that uh, where the circles would represent your business uh, rules or business logic and the triangles are all your application code. Okay, so let's say that we adopt a rules management system. What, what gets better from that? Right, so a rule management system such as BRMS will allow you to separate that logic, like we see here, um, from your application code. And the way it does that is um, it allows you to create your rules in multiple formats um, and package your rules into um, uh, different sets. Okay, so we've gone from our original state here where we have to have developers making the uh, logic changes since they're uh, so tightly coupled with the application to moving our business rules into a state that an analyst could update. So, okay, I've migrated uh, these business rules out so they're not as tightly coupled. Um, how does the application now interact with those uh, rules that I pulled out? There's a few different ways that uh, you can do that. Uh, one is to embed your rules into your application, um, just like you would with any other JAR file. Um, there you have the rule engine um, in your application code alongside with your rules in a JAR. Um, the benefit there is you're still getting uh, the rule optimizations that's provided by the rule engine. Um, another way is through the key server or KIE server, uh, knowledge is everything. Okay, so that uh, key server sounds pretty interesting to me. Uh, what benefits does that provide and what use cases is it appropriate for? For the example you were talking about, the insurance quote um, would be a perfect uh, situation for a key server. Um, the key server would then contain all of your rules instead of having them embedded within your application. Okay, so now uh, I have my rules in, the, in my key server. How does the application interact with that key server? There's two main ways for your application to interact with the key server. One is the Java API. Um, and another is the REST API provided by the key server. Okay, so going back to that original example, say I need to make uh, that change to the quote tool now. Uh, how does that look with the key server in place and BRMS in place? Right, so your <clears throat> business analyst or even a developer could come in through Business Central, which is a web-based UI um, that will allow them to modify that rule, um, save it, and then an administrator can come in and run the rule test scenarios, which also are contained within Business Central. And as long as everything passes, they will push that rule deployment out to the key server. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So going from the fir our first situation here, where we've had to make developers uh, make the business logic change for us, we've gone to a state where our analyst can make the change and uh, push that out into, like, say, our dev environment without in really involving that developer team unless necessary. Um, so say I'm, I'm working with a legacy application that, have, that has thousands of these rules uh, tightly coupled with the application code, or I just need help standing up BRMS. Uh, how can I get help? Right, so you can talk to your Red Hat account executive for a discovery session, or for more information, you can go to redhat.com slash consulting.